Hi, in this guide, I'm going to walk you through how you can add a HTML signature in Outlook 2016. To start off, I want to show you what it's going to look like. I'm going to double click this and open it up in the browser. And you can see this is what it looks like. So we have HTML signature that has a number of different components, including images, styles, links. Uh, so you could click on you know, one of these and it would take you to their Twitter page, that kind of thing. So uh, this is the file and I'm going to walk you through how you can have that as the signature. So the very first thing we need to do is actually configure our file system in order to accept it because one of the things that Microsoft does is it has a lot of hidden directories and files that the majority of people don't use and so by default they're turned off. So the very first thing that you want to do is come up to the view tab right here and come all the way to the right and you'll see a options button here. Click on the downward arrow and say change folder and search options and this will bring up this dialog box. Now in this dialog box, this is where we can change a number of view settings. If you come up to the view tab, this is where we want to change it. Right here it says hidden files and folders. By default, it says don't show hidden files, folders, or drives, but for what we're doing, we actually need to see that and have access to it. So I'm gonna click show hidden files, folders, and drives, and also make sure this hide extensions for known file types, make sure that's unchecked. So don't check it if, uh, uh, if it's unchecked. By default, I'm pretty sure with Windows 10, it's like this, but uh, just make sure that that is unchecked. Click apply and okay, and now we're ready. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come over here, I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm just gonna click copy. And now if I come down to Windows 7 or Windows 8 OS, what yours may be named differently, your C drive essentially. And if I come up to users, then click on whatever the name of yours is. Mine's Jordan because that's my name, but it's whatever your username is. I'm going to double click on that. And now we're going to click on app data. So if you click on that click on roaming and now we're going to come down click on Microsoft and lastly we're going to come down to signatures and here we have an empty directory if I right click and click paste you can see that we have our file now one thing that's very important to know with this file is you may notice the file type is .htm. If you do .html, it'll actually throw some errors. And just so you can see what that file looks like, I'm gonna right click on it and I'll open it up with Visual Studio Code. And you can see this is the HTML file. So it's relatively straightforward. It's a standard HTML doc. There are uh, a number of things that Outlook's very picky about. So you want to keep your HTML as simple as possible. You can't use things like embedded style sheets or anything like that. You have to do pretty much inline styles. And that's why this one is created the way it is. So I'm going to click out of it. And now let me open up Outlook. And now we can supply the signature. So come up to top left hand side, click on file, come down to options. And in options, click on mail and then signatures. And inside of signatures, you can see by default, it has a Santillian one right here. And I can do new messages. I can do for which email account I want it associated with that kind of thing. And uh, don't be afraid when uh, this doesn't show any of your images uh, by default it's not gonna be able to do this properly in your preview but it'll work in your emails so uh, usually you'll want to change this for your new messages replies however you want that customized and you also can have multiple HTML emails but by default it picked it out and it's right there so I'm gonna click OK OK and now if I click on new message it pops it up and here's our new email message. It shows a few line breaks in there, but uh, it doesn't actually show those when they're sent. So let me send off a email right here. Testing signature. 
here you go and click on send send anyway it's uh, it thought that I put an attachment in there but I'm just gonna click send anyway and I'll open up this other account and there it is and uh, by default uh, depending on what the people's signatures or requirement security requirements are it may or may not render the images right away so uh, I can say download pictures and you can see there's our signature and you may also notice that all the line breaks and everything like that uh, is, are gone and it works perfectly and each one of the elements inside work as well so this one specifically had links to like their LinkedIn so if I click on that it comes up right with their LinkedIn if I click on Twitter comes up with Twitter so all of this is a email message so it's pretty cool that this is pretty much as easy as it is to implement a full HTML email right into your Outlook dashboard.